Arab and Turkish invasions. Prophet Muhammad was the founder of Islam 570-632A.D. Closing Brace Islam grew up in the deserts of Arabia. Its first converts were the Arabs. Arab conquest of Zind and Multan 712 AD. Commercial contacts prevailed between India and Arabia for a long time. The Arabs were attracted by the rich ports of Zind. They wanted to extend their political and religious control over it. They were angry with the ruler of Zind who failed to check the pirates who plundered them. Muhammad bin Qasim Sent by al hajjaj the governor of Iraq With the permission of Caliph Walid conquered Zind He marched against Dahir the ruler of Zind Qasim defeated Dahir in the Battle of Rewar and captured Zind Qasim also captured Multan He got so much of wealth from Multan that he called Multan, the city of gold Administrative system under Qasim Muhammad bin Qasim divided Zind and Multan into number of Lukhtas or districts. Arab military officers were appointed as heads of the Lukhtas. Local Hindu officers were allowed to administer the subdivisions of the districts. The Arabs imposed jizya on non-Muslims. Muhammad bin Qasim had an army of 25,000 troops including 6,000 Syrian horses, 6,000 camels, 3,000 Bactrian camels, an artillery force of 2,000 men with five catapults and advanced guards. End of Muhammad bin Qasim Caliph Sulaiman succeeded Caliph Walid after his death. He was an archenemy of al-Hajjaj, the governor of Iraq. He dismissed Muhammad bin Qasim as he was the son-in-law of Ai Hajjaj. He sent him as a prisoner to Mesopotamia and tortured him to death. Zind and Multan remained as part of the Caliph's empire for more than 150 years. Effects of Arab Conquest The conquest of Zind sowed the seeds for the coming of Islam into India. The Arabs learned the art of administration, astronomy, music, painting, medicine and architecture from our land. Indian philosophy, numerals and astronomy were taken to Europe by the Arabs.